You're watching WGOL Channel 7 News. I'm Melissa Sutton, and today is Sunday, November the 10th, 2019. The 138th Anniversary Committee would like to thank everyone who played a part, either small or big, making the anniversary celebration a huge success. We pray it was enjoyable as well as inspiring. If you haven't been told, let me say I appreciate you your willingness to serve, and your giving spirit. May God bless you all. Also, if you order t-shirts and have not yet paid or picked them up, please see Miss Linda, Miss Brandy, or Miss Marion. After the service, there will be a bake sale. Our own Janita Oaks is running for Grandmother of the Year and she is selling baked goods in order to raise money for this purpose. Please come out and support her in this adventure. Preaching for Jamaica is today at 3 p.m. at Bethania AME Zion Church. The speaker will be Reverend Frencher and the officiator will be Reverend Stinson. So if you have time, please come out and support the Preaching for Jamaica. If you're looking for a little extra change for the holiday season, you can be a census taker. Starting pay is $16 an hour. There are versatile times, flexible times. So look for one of these bulletins for more information. They may be in the back or they may be inside your bulletin, but you also may receive them last week when we had the speaker. Now for your week in review. Monday is Veterans Day. So please congratulate one that has already served. And if you also know someone, Harry's Vets is having a floating open house on Monday, November the 11th. More information is in your bulletin if you need it. At 6 p.m., we will have rehearsal for our play this year, The Word Revealed. So if you are an actor, an actress, you know how to do lights or stage or props, please come out at 6 p.m. on Monday to come and help make this a success. On Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, we're still getting fit with Frank at 545. On Tuesday, Vessels of Praise Dance Rehearsal will be at 7. There will also be a church meeting on Tuesday, although the bulletin does say Wednesday, but it will be at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, uh, November the 12th. Wednesday, we have Citrus Size at 11, and then we have Noonday Bible Study. There will also be 6.30 p.m. Bible Study for youth and adults. On Friday, we will have Kingdom Steppers Rehearsal at 6 p.m. And on Saturday at 10 a.m., there will be the Parent Body Missionary Society meeting that has been rescheduled to Saturday, November the 16th. Then at 2 p.m., we will have rehearsal with the Children's Choir. On November the 26th at 6 p.m., we will have our second quarterly conference. Reports are due into Ms. Glenda Cornell. November the 30th at 6.30 p.m. here at Gola Memorial, the district is hosting a fifth Sunday, fifth Saturday, sorry, a fifth Saturday fellowship for the youth. So youth, please come out. There will be youth from all over the district coming out to have fun and fellowship. The time is 6.30, and for more information, see Ms. Shirley Kendall. Get ready for the largest holiday sale ever. The Missionary Style Society will hold their annual holiday sock sale December the 6th and 7th, as well as December the 13th and 14th, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Volunteers are needed to set up Thursday before the sale. Please give your name and available time to Linda, Gladys, or Roxy as soon as possible. Proceeds benefit various uh, community activities and projects that the Missionary Society hosts. As the leaves change, it is a good time for you to change commitment to healthy habits. One, as the days get shorter, take this time to make a conscious effort to get your home environment back in tune with nature. Take advantage of natural light by sitting or working from your window. 
take a hot bath, sip a warm drink, then take a lovely nap. Declutter your closet. Get rid of those unwanted or small clothing that you can no longer wear or need or want. Think about ways to bring your fitness workout indoors. Reconnect with friends and family. Meet for breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner. Being bored sometimes inspires creativity. So if you're sitting around the house saying, I'm bored, it gives you inspiration to think of something different and more enlightening to do. Make sure to turn off electronics at least one hour before bedtime. This is your healthy tip for the week. Hi, I'm Tammy Chef, and this is today's entertainment news. We are continuing with recognizing the veterans at Gold Memorial AME Zion Church. The spotlight is being shined on Mr. Bernard Mack, known to us all as Mo, another beloved church member that has served this country. Mo, we're happy that you can be here for our news segment and so glad to see you. Thank you, Tammy, for having me. So let's get started. What branch of the military did you serve? I was, I was, I served in the Army Air Force. What was your days of service or how long? From 1953 to 1955. When you served, did you have a specific occupation? Yes, ma'am, I did. I was studying to be a pharmacist and I was working in the pharmacy over in Germany. So for our last question, please let the viewers know what it means to serve. It gave me, it gives me great honor to serve in the armed forces. I was the youngest of five boys that served in the army. My oldest brother, George, my next older brother, David, and my next brother was Walter, and then came I. We all served in the armed forces. I'm happy that I served in the armed forces. We at Goler would like to thank you for your time served for this country. Thank you, Tammy, for having me. I appreciate it very much. God bless America. This has been today's entertainment news. Please stand as your name is called. Zena Lee and Lynette Johnson. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. A bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it. This has been Moe's Motivational Moment.